It's a good question because I um, I'm always fighting with my editors about this because I'm against this um, putting into boxes of uh, stor his stories and books. And so for me, it doesn't really exist. I never make um, a story with a certain public in mind or drawings with a certain age in mind. So um, if you ask me, it doesn't exist. There only exist good books and good stories. I think everybody needs good story, stories. So from, it's really, I'm the very wrong person to ask this kind of question because it's something I, ne I really try not to do, to think of young adults or children. So I think everybody just needs a good story. Everybody needs stories, all society needs stories. So whether it's a young adult or a ch child, and maybe, yeah, you can, tell a bit different stories to children and a little bit different for adults but in the end I think the the, the the divisions between it are too strong at the moment for me I recommended The Little White Horse by Elizabeth Gotch. It's a very old book and it's a children's book, but um, adults read it also. And it's about, it's, what is it about actually? It's about a girl who discovers a little white horse that only runs at night when the full moon is out. And it's a beautiful book. This is really this kind of story and the kind of book that has magic in it. It's, it pulls you into the story and it's a very classical book. It's not very um, strange or weird or whatever, but it pulls you into it and you're completely inside the story until you stop reading. And I was given the book by an old friend of my father who was then 50 years old when he gave it to me and it was his favorite book when he was young and so yeah and it became my favorite book as a child a good book is a book that um, yeah pulls you into a parallel world and makes you forget reality that's a good book and it touches your emotions that's what I think is a good book. In general, for me or for authors, I think a festival is a way to meet not only the public but also each other. Because as a writer or for me as a comic book artist, you're sitting in your room and you make books, you make stories. And that is a very lonely business. And so you you do not really know who reads the books, who who are your colleagues, what are they doing, what are they, how do they work, how, who are they, how do they look, are they nice people, are they stupid people. So for authors, I think this is really a way to get, in, get outside your room and get in contact with the real world. And for the public, the other way around, of course, it's meeting the author, yes, discovering things.